Yo guys, what is going on? This is Yokiman here, and I am back with part 11, I believe, of mine, and season 2 of my Inter Milan save on Football Manager 2017. And in this episode, we will have two Super Cup games. One against Juventus for the Italian Super Cup, and one against Atletico Madrid for, uh, I believe, like the European Super Cup, because we won the Euro Cup, and... Atletico Madrid managed to win the Champions League. Well done to them. So we're going to kick off with our game against Juventus and um, two games, so it's not too bad. We do have transfers. It's still early pre-season and I will warn you, I haven't yet fully made um, transformations to the club that I expected to do in the way that Mario Accardi would be sold. It's taken a lot longer than expected for me to get the right price that I felt that I would sell him for. But let's just have a quick look at Juventus and see if they've made any changes this season. Because um, it'll be interesting to see. No huge money. No huge money out. Buffon's retired. Kingsley Coman went for 18 million, but I think that was already a set deal. Because wasn't he on loan to Bayern Munich the last season? Pretty sure. I'll double check that. It'd be a bit stupid not to. But I'm pretty sure he was. Yeah, so he was on loan, so I'm guessing it was already kind of agreed and he went for 18 million, which is actually quite a big loss, I think, to Juventus, because I feel like he's a pretty decent player. So I'm guessing uh, Gonzalo Moreno is a youngster from Boca, yeah, an 18-year-old they've signed. Um, Benita from Bayern, which is fair enough, considering they've just, um, just gained 18 million from Bayern, another defender in for them, and Ruli. Is what we're going to call him. So nothing big really. Oh, not a bad Argentine. There are strict rules, so that's two Argentine players they've brought in. So that is it for this season. They won't be able to sign any more none of you. But he's Moroccan. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Because you're not supposed to sign any more than two, I believe. And you have to clear a spot. Um, so that's why I've, I've tried to stay away from. That's the one restriction I'm gonna not miss when I stop doing an Italian save for sure um, but we'll go for the transfers why not transfer history so as you can tell there was always gonna be tons and tons of frees going out always gonna be tons of frees going out simply for the fact that I was gonna let tons of players um, players go considering there's so many like youth players and whatnot that were just ridiculously crap we did let Felipe Melo go, I think he's probably, and Marco Andronelli, but I didn't really play him. Um, and Felipe Melo, um, he, he was good for us last year, actually, to be fair. But for 75 or 77,000 a week, see, look what he's earning now. He's earning next to nothing, but for us, he was earning so much more. Um, he was handy to have around as like a backup player, but no way were I going to keep paying that amount of money for him. You know, he did do well when he played, but he didn't play that much. Um, uh, Juan Jesus, he was set to go out to Roma anyway. Daniel Bessa was as well. So was Safir today. He was set to go. Andrea Rinocchio, we sent out to Burnley. Well, we didn't send out, we sent to Burnley. Um, a few players have gone out on loan. Mario Accardi, in the end, the deal was done. It was done on the 18th of last month. I know I've had a little bit of time, but I've spent a lot of time scouting. I don't want to willy nilly go in for players. As you can see, we've made a total of 97 million because I did manage to get 76 for him. Um, I did want more, but to achieve more money, I wouldn't have as much up front, and I wanted 70 up front. So they gave me 70 up front and six over 12 months, which I cannot complain about at all. But apart from those two, there is no real tra uh, like players leaving of note. Um, so we started already with Carl's Planas. I hate struggling with names but he's a decent left back we signed last season i believe the deal was done yeah he came in on a free for us from Celta Vigo. he's a decent left back um freddie that's his name that's his nickname anyway he's he looks like a great prospect i do behind the scenes an nec save um it's a team i did before with a fellow youtuber called chucky boy where he did the rival team and i looked at him this season and he started like into try to come in for him but i wouldn't sell him on the save that I was NEC, and he just looks like he's going to be a talent. Okay. 
We also went in and actually finally sell, uh, signed Carl Jenkinson, which was always probably going to be a situation that was going to happen with the performances he put in last year. He does only have a three star um, rating, but I, that doesn't bother me whatsoever. He was fantastic for his last season and definitely someone I wanted to pick up. And picking him up that cheap of five million, I was more than happy to do that. Now, two signings that really came out of nowhere because at this point I hadn't sold. Uh, Mario Accardi so I was like there's not much I can do here but Axel Witzel we managed to get for free who's just a solid all round midfielder basically replacing Felipe Melo but better in my opinion and he's definitely going to be a strong touch to the team this season we also managed to get Sadio Berahino from West Brom he says 3 million but that was compensation his contract was due up um, the, 20, the 24 year old Englishman has so much potential finishing 16 he's dribbling his first touch I cannot believe that I managed to pick him up for this price in the second season so keep your eyes out for that I'm guessing it was because Sado didn't want to sign a new contract to West Brom that's why we managed, managed to be able to get him for so cheap but that's ridiculous and then I've recently signed um, I may get a lot of abuse for this in the comments but he's just a player I think is unbelievable and I think he, he will be good for us. I definitely do. This is not another tin yet badge. Uh, plus, he's still not my record signing. Um, he's going to cost 19.25 in the long, long run, but he has to play 50 games, which he might not even have in my time on this save anyway. Um, and I think it was like a, a million or two million or whatever it was um, over 48 months. But 17.5 million up front, not a bad signing for Dimitri Payet. His stats just say to me that he's going to be brilliant at this level and a fantastic player for his passing of 17, dribbling his crossing. He's perfect. And as an attacking midfielder, he actually fits the shadow striker role with his statistics, apart from his aggression, quite well. So I'm quite happy with him as a pickup. But he's all I've really done, and it's a little bit strange because. We do have quite a lot of money. We've got 61.17 million and 93 on the wages, but that can be moved about. And, and there's still maybe one or two players I'm quite happy to let go. I am looking at players, but at the minute, I'm not in, I don't feel like I'm being pushed to, to go out and make any major signings. I don't feel like we're being pushed to go out and sign anyone, you know, spectacular out of the blue because I don't feel like we need to. I feel like. The club is performing pretty well as it is. I did look at Bernardo Silva because I thought he would be an absolute world beater. He's Portuguese, so not he, he you know it's not a non EU player and he looks unbelievable. He looks unreal. He can play Shadow Striker quite well. Advanced playmaker advanced playmaker, he just looks superb. Like his star rating as well is just fantastic. But like he's gonna cost me way out of the box and I was just like I, I don't feel like I wanna do that yet. If ever Benega left them, he would be a shoo in. Um, but I'm not 100% sure about letting him go yet. But anyway, we're going to get into the first game of the episode where we play against Juventus. We had good luck against Juventus towards the end of last season. That doesn't mean it's going to happen this season. And we're going to line up. We're not going to line up like that. We will line up with Vela on the right. Payet will not start today. With Perisic on the left. And Jovetic is not going to start up front. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Belotti is going to start up front. Um, oh, yeah. I forgot. I should show you the two preseason fixtures we play so far. So, Stour Bucharest, I believe that is. Uh, Belotti scored four. Babos scored two. And Devide Morello scored. He's now gone out on loan. Hopefully, he'll improve as a player. And, I, you know, I'm probably not going to get the opportunity to use him at that. Uh, when he's at his best but we've sent him out on loan and then we beat Racing Club the Lens um, 5-1 with Barbosa picking up two Berahino getting his first Miranda and João Mario so we've looked good in pre-season apart from shipping three goals we've looked pretty decent but this is a complete different quality of opponent so I am a little bit worried but I feel like Beloit can do well Vela and Perisic seem decent there um, do I start Mario or do I start Ah, this is this is always the difficult. Yedvaj, obviously, actually, Yedvaj is going to start on the right. And Eva Benega is going to start for Mario. It's really just now in my head whether I feel he's worth keeping. 
I, comments would really help, but I'm I'm feeling if I could pick up thirty five to forty million for him, I I think I'd be happy with that, and I'd definitely go in and sign a top class midfielder for that, um, which is where we're lacking. I don't feel like there's any point signing any more strikers. Belotti, Berahino, and there's a couple of young strikers as well, and Jovetic I know can chip in with some goals. I just don't see the point in uh, spending any more money on on forwards, even though. I say that, but I still might do that because I've got a habit of that. But anyway, Juventus, we beat them, I think, in both games towards the end of the season, in the cup game and in the league. The cup game was penalties, though. And I think you could probably say, as of now, you would maybe look at the squad and say it's, it's not stronger than last year. But Zazar is back for them, and I'm, I know he's scored a lot of goals for West Ham, so that, that does worry me a touch. Belotti, Vela, putting a good ball. Oh, Vela, Belotti, 1-0. Oh, not even a minute in, perfect. Carlos Vela there was so greedy, fantastic, just what we want from him. I thought he was going to be really greedy with it, but he wasn't. He cuts inside and just passes it to Belotti, and he cannot miss from there. I I really do believe Belotti's going to score enough goals to warrant not signing a replacement striker for Akadi. I feel like Belotti was already the replacement, and Bonucci brings him back in it, or was it Rugani? Ah, oh, no. Straight back in it. They're always going to be tough opponents, and they're going to want to set out a marker this year because... They didn't win the cup. They didn't do the Champions League. They did win the league, but that was it. And they've won the league year in, year out since day dot. Are they going to get another from a corner here? Oh, my God, Zaza. Oh, is that Handanovic on goal? It seemed that way. It seemed like he bounced off the back of Handanovic. And in the space of 10, uh, 19 minutes, it's not looking great again. Yeah, that's an own goal. I can't believe they gave that to Zaza. That's such an own goal. Defensively already, it's making me not look... It's making me not look good. I'm not really happy. It's neutral as well, so there shouldn't be that much of a possession sway. I think I might swap the formation up. <coughs> Bloody there. Ella there. Perisic. They get there. Let's roll with this. I hope your yeah, veg doesn't get sent off. That's like the, the glowing history of him last season was him getting sent off so much. Two one down. It's like a perfect opportunity to pick up two cups early on in the season, but I feel like Juventus this year are going to be really strong. Um, Chievo can't be anywhere near as good as they were last year Which is always a bonus for us Chievo were ridiculous last year We should have finished I, I imagine we would have finished second if they hadn't had a Bilotti Oh that one offside were it Yes 2-2 two -two. Vela and Bilotti linking up well And Bilotti and Barbosa linked up so well in pre-season Vela showing his worth here though early, like In this early game I'm impressed I'm impressed. Second season definitely has to be majorly about the Champions League, but progressing from just where we were, I want a more comfortable top three finish. I'm not expecting to win the league, but I want a more comfortable top three finish. And really to Vela. Oh, Vela scores. It's 3 2. What a first half, man. This is a double live come episode as well, and I cannot believe that we've had a first half this entertaining. The change in tactic has definitely perked us up, and Carlos Vela, superb game. That's two assists and a goal to his name. Fantastic. It's full of highlights. Both teams are going for it. As I was saying, anyway, like Europe has to be like a big focus for me this season, but I'm not expecting to pick... Um, to win the league, Higuain goes straight back, are you kidding me, free, free, I'm trying to say some stuff and I can't even get the, I can't, it's not giving me chance because of these, this is insane, free, free, what a classic already, jeez man, defensively, so we've not looked great, have we, 
Oh, as I was saying. Anyway, lads, I'm, I'm thinking this season we're probably not going to challenge for the title. I, I want a comfortable top three, hopefully second. Um, the cup doesn't really matter, but an okay run in the cup. I'm going to play the kids in the cup or players I want to see getting some game time. Um, and I'm not happy because the 6.3 is ridiculous and a 6.4 is too. So defensively also and all, all like absolutely all over the place and I was contemplating playing Izzo today for Murillo and I probably should have done I've just given him a new contract so he's probably thinking I've got a new contract it don't matter how I play. Centre back is definitely a position we need to we need to improve. One hundred percent. If if we knock out stage drama this year in Champions League would be would be pretty decent. Uh, the save will go one more season after this. Um, depending on what note we leave it on, it may go another season. But I'm I'm really eager to get into my long term difficult save um, and push through with that. Really, so I'm quite happy for it to end. Um, do this season and another season after, and then it end. Which is a shame because I I am enjoying it. Well, I enjoyed last season with it because it was successful, obviously. Don't let Alexandro whip that ball in, but you let him do your tin. <sighs> Vela touches the ball and well there. Razovic, play it through. Belotti, Yedvaj, Yedvaj. Not the guy you want in that position to take that opportunity. But he seems to have perked up and playing better this second half. Planis is going to come on for Santon because Santon has just not done it for me. I've given him a new contract as well, which is a bit frustrating. And Morello's going to... Do I bring on Yao? Do I have Aaron? Uh, no. Amando is always going to come on for Morello because, once again, he's just not impressed me whatsoever. Up front, we look dangerous. We look like we're performing to a good standard, but defensively, terrible. What a crazy game to start off the first episode of season two. Do not let them get a goal, Higuain. Surely he was off there. Yeah, I thought so. I thought he was off. Come on, lads. It's extra time. It's, it just feels like us in Juventus, like extra time. I'm, I've not lost a penalty shootout yet with this team, but I don't, I don't particularly like them. I don't want to keep going to them because that just signals to me that at some point we're going to have to lose a penalty shootout with this team. Um, do, 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 do I bring Payet on? Perisic hasn't looked awesome. Let's bring Dimitri Payet on who could play that shadow striker role. He's the big signing so far this season. I think Berahino and Witzel on, on freeze are just ridiculous. It's made me not have to do as much work in the transfer window. But definitely Payet's been the biggest signing so far. There's plenty of money to, to dip into the pot and look at different players, but I just don't feel it I, I just don't feel any need to rush. I don't see why there is any need to rush into to sign in anyone I want to see how the team feels first because I do feel Belotti can can man up front with Barbosa and other players oh is this it no 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 it's not it's Higuain going all on his own go on Planas oh, awful ball to Witzel if this is what they break away on and score and they are gonna oh great save Handanovic that would have I'd have been furious Absolutely furious. The change to Planas though has definitely helped. Right, so we have some good penalty kick takers by the looks of it. Belotti is going to take kick number five. Right. We tend to win these. But that doesn't mean, oh, Witzel. First one safe, so it's not. I told you at some point we were going to have to, have to lose one of these. Oh, Handanovic saves. He's fantastic at saving penalties. Ever Benega. Oh, saved again. Are you kidding me? Buffon's not even on the pitch. Benucci scores. One down. Vela. 
Oh, this is this is embarrassing. Kings of penalties last season. Oh, great save, Handanovic. Miranda scored a lot of penalties last year. Oh my God, we haven't scored a single penalty, lads. Higuain scores this. He is injured. He's not missing. Juventus winning. We can't. We fail to score a penalty. I'm furious at that. It was a good performance, really, against a top team. But I'm just so angry about that penalty shootout. But I do feel like I need to keep him in good spirit. Morello looks switched off. Yeah, because you were shit. You weren't at your best. You were crap. Sorry, I'm getting angry. <laughs> but he gets himself too. But it's not terrible. We've lost it, but I can come away with with some great performances, especially going forward. I learned a lesson that Santon definitely wasn't fit enough or didn't play well enough. Maybe later on in the season he'll be fine. But defensively, we got picked apart by Juventus. Um, probably against the lesser teams, that shouldn't happen, but Juventus will punish us in that manner. Anyway, guys, I will come back for the next game against uh, Atletico. So, guys, it's time for the Atletico Madrid game. I'm about to pick the team for it. Just to let you know, in between the Atletico Madrid game and the Juventus game that we lost, I have also realised that our first game of the season is also against Juventus. Which is not the greatest start. Fiorentina, then Lazio, then Champions League football begins. So it's going to be a really intense start to the season. Um, crazily, I believe it will most likely be Fiorentina that I bring as the first live game of the season. That or I'll do Lazio because you can have a full transfer update or maybe even the Champions League game. I'm not fully decided on that yet. Um, and also, in between that time, and I may get, get a lot of stick for this, we've gone in for Daily Blend. Uh, it's basically 54 million, um, 23 up front, 23 over 48 months, 2.5 after 50 league appearances and 5 after 20 international appearances. Um, now, you may wonder why Daily Blind, he could play all across the back, he could play defensive midfielder and centre midfield. He's a very defence-minded player, though, which is what I like about him. But his stats are perfect. He's a pretty decent defender as well, and he's a ball-playing defender, which is what I play, which is helpful. Um, he can play left-back as a wing-back as well, or full-back, which are two positions I also play. He's perfect for the defensive midfield position, which Medal is definitely ageing at, and he so he sits into that perfectly. And I just think all-round he's a decent player. He's 100% going to be our best defensive midfielder. He can hang with Morello and Miranda as our central defender. Um, and as a left back, he would actually be our best left back. So I cannot see why I wouldn't sign him. Um, so I, I, I'm going to try. And there will be a little bit of budget left over to maybe sign another player um, to fit into the squad. But I 100% realise that the team is definitely not strong enough to be competing with some of the bigger teams. So... I'm going to start standard and structured as we normally do. Um, Belotti is going to start again. Payet on the left because I don't believe Perisic had the greatest game. So I'm going to start Payet on the left. It would be stupid for me to leave him out. I Then I'm going to start Tigurus for Jean Mario who I did re-sign a new contract. So I do need to get some use out of him. But he says he's unbelievable. But he, he's not great at the attacking role as an advanced playmaker. Which is what I play. Um, at the minute I'm just really in between. Perisic looks like I could sell him. Now he had a fantastic season last season. But if I could get 50 million for the 28 year old. Who isn't a world beater. I don't know. Would I let him go? I don't know. But let's get into this game against Atletico Madrid. And hopefully, continentally, in, in Cups, we've been fantastic. So, hopefully, that will continue. Uh, and we'll continue in that, that vein. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, guys, make sure you subscribe to get all the content first. Appreciate you all for watching the series so far. It's been well received. I'm so happy about that. And hopefully we come away with a win from this episode. And a trophy. There could have been much more difficult teams.
to play in the final. But I say that, but Atletico Madrid have an unbelievable team. I think they actually won La Liga last year. And, and that worries me. And this start worries me. Griezmann, I was hoping they'd sold him already. It looks like Griezmann may leave um, to Paris Saint-Germain. Apparently there's a lot of teams in for him. Um, I'm hoping they quickly sell him. I, I was hoping they'd sold him before the start of this game. I'm just so worried that the team's not going to perform as well this season. And there's going to be a massive strain on the squad with Champions League football. It's not a huge squad. Vela, Brazovic, Jenkinson, Brazovic, Belotti, if he gets to it, he's in, banging, 1-0, Andre Belotti, he's, there's one thing he proved last season when I did play him, he could score, and he was going to score goals for the club, so when I lost to Cardi, all I felt he ever did for the club was score, and I felt like if Belotti was in that position, he could score just as many and on the big stage. So hopefully he completely fills that role out this season. He takes it on like a champion. And we don't have any issues with that. But that's never the case, is it? So never ever the case. But we can hope. Well, I'm going to hope. We're doing well so far. Keep it up. I love it that my assistant's called Trustful. I trust him. He's... he's He's done well so far as my assistant. But as you can tell, Medal is not starting. Witzel is starting. Now, if Daily Blind comes in, uh, Medal is definitely someone I'm going to look to sell. He takes up a non EU position. Um, and I just I, I don't see any reason not to sell him and try and profit on him if he's not going to start. Witzel is a definitely an all round better player than him, and we got him on a free. And Ovella. Oh, 2 0. Beautiful, that was fantastic. I can't wait to see the replay for this one. Ah, what a pass from Alex Witzel. Beautiful finish from Vela. Well, he's found his scoring boots. They were in there somewhere. and It's kind of making me feel okay for signing him for the price I did last season. But I always felt like he was more of a provider than a scorer. Um... But yeah, Gary Medell will definitely probably be out. What a ball from Payet if Belotti gets to that. Oh, but he can't do out with it. Villa. Oh, great play so far. Um, yeah, I, ju I just feel like it makes sense to, to ship him out of the club. I think he's only got a year or two on his contract anyway. So I probably would have just let him go. But why not cash, cash in on him now? We're looking good so far. Defensively, we look stronger. So the lads have definitely taken note from from the last game where we were awful. Um, we just look more solid. Payat's not been a world beater, but hey, I'm happy. Jenkinson. Oh, what a beautiful goal from Carl Jenkinson. The goals in this episode have been insane and both games have been fantastic but this one makes me feel better because we are 3-0 up in the Super Cup and the, this team won La Liga and the Champions League and we're actually beating them 3-0. We're dominating them. Well, let's make some changes now. We might as well make some changes. Uh, let's bring Stefan Jovetic on. Gabby Barbosa can come on as well. Um... Uh, let's get Xiao Mario on but I'll put him in the position he wants to be in I'll put him support instead and we'll play we'll play a little bit more on the heels but fantastic start there's a few new faces but I've not altered the squad I don't feel too much to put us under too much pressure of too many new faces and I'm hoping signings from last season will really kick on this year um, I I 100% know I need to get Barbo some more game time but it's fitting him in the squad because he was definitely a cup man last season he played a, a hell of a lot of cup games it's fitting him into the squad because unfortunately we have Vela now who's playing superb down that right hand side that was a fantastic performance calm congratulations so first piece of silverware of the season and it's beating Atletico Madrid. They've got such a fantastic team as well. Yeah, they won. They won the Liga last season. 
So they won the Liga and the Champions League and we've just beaten them. So that's like superb. Who have they signed? So they haven't really done anything. Uh, they haven't really sold much either. Apart from Vieto. Yeah, they haven't done much at all. But hey, guys, exciting start to the season. I've still not 100% decided what game I'll come back at. But thank you all for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up for that 3-0 win against Atletico Madrid in the Super Cup. It looks like being competitive against Juventus and this result that maybe, maybe we can do something this year. Uh, that's going to be really exciting. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one.